But Senator Sanders and I have some real differences about how we would go about achieving our goals as president. And like a lot of people, I am concerned that some of his ideas just won't work because the numbers don't add up. Others won't even pass Congress, or they rely on Republican governors suddenly having a conversion experience and becoming progressives. Well, in a number of important areas, he doesn't have a plan at all. Now, sometimes I'm accused of spending too much time on the details of how things actually work and how we get them done. But if you don't do that, it would be like negotiating a contract. And you walk in and you say to the employer, we want a really good deal, so do it. <laughs> it's not the way I've ever seen it work. You gotta know what you want. You gotta have a plan for getting it. Or people aren't gonna get the help that they need. That's what this is supposed to be about. Today, America's unions are at the forefront of so many crucial progressive movements, including the fight to raise the minimum wage. And this is an exciting moment. The victories are starting to roll in. Millions of working families in New York and California are poised to climb out of poverty. And I fully support Governor Wolf in his fight to raise the minimum wage in Pennsylvania as well.